morning guys so uh made it here to the middle of nowhere virginia where we're getting loaded and when i say that i mean y'all see those houses right there that that's pretty much the town so uh yeah there ain't much here uh so getting this right here railroad plates railroad spikes so yeah they ain't got no scales or nothing out here so you know we're going off our gauges on our truck here's hoping we don't get stuck because it rained and you know i'm kind of in a bag in a hole a little bit backed up in the weeds so yep yeah. uh, guy said you know we're gonna we're gonna finish this pile off and then they got a another pile on the other side of the tracks over there uh taking this to uh Kentucky, I guess, so they can, uh, I don't know if they'll scrap them, check them, clean them, could tell you. My guess probably scrap them out, turn them into new. There, there is a few uh, pieces of rail that I can see about, oh, four or five foot long. So a uh, guy said it's going to take about a hundred lifts to fill my truck up. Can't pick up very much at a time, but it's like they're about to get ready to go. So uh, I'm not gonna show very much of the filming or of the loading because I'm gonna have to be up there in my gauges for too long watching. And uh, they got their uh, what they do is they show you here. They got a, a magnet on a boom that's mounted on their truck. And uh, for one, they don't want me showing their company logo or anything so you know i'm hey they're letting me film that's what i can ask for uh then plus got the engine noise of the truck so they got that revved up to be able to run the hydraulics for this monstrosity so i can't tell if y'all got uh good lighting or not because the sun is in my eyeballs and i can't even see my screen so uh all right we're gonna wait till they get started we'll, we'll show a little bit of the loading and then uh show you all the end result all right so uh here we go boom number one going in the trailer one down about 99 more to go so uh yeah, that's a little old magnet you see there. And he's gonna pick it up. Said so they're gonna load out my center first and then we'll go side to side, watch my gauges and uh, adjust from there. The whole thing about, uh, there we go. See how, the whole thing about uh, loading off gauges is uh, you know, out here where it's uneven ground and soupy and all that. And, uh, you, you gauges get you close, they don't get you perfect. So, you know, hopefully I, I don't roll out of here overweight. But yeah, here we go with some more. I've been working on the railroad. All the live long day. I know y'all don't want to listen to me sing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're gonna go up there and hang out. We're gonna load this, do this whole loading process. It's gonna take a while. All right, guys. So uh, we're loaded. Take a look. Show y'all these gauges here. You can tell right there. Okay, so that one's like right at thirty-two thousand. Come back here on this one. That is right at just under 36,000. Man, hopefully these gauges are right because you know, I got three quarters to take of fuel right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit a try to find the first cat scale I can. That way I don't uh, get to a way station and, uh, you know, get caught by surprise, you know. Plus, I can see if, you know, if I can add fuel or, or not. So, uh, me hop up in here I'll show you all these loads I gotta put my bows back in 
All right, so uh, here's what it looks like from the door. Let's see if we can get in here one hand. In. There we go. Yep. Whew. Ain't very high, but it's real heavy. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get my bows, put it back crossed here, get my tarp rolled, and uh, we can go see if we can find us a cat skill somewhere. All right, guys, so uh, we made it up here to Lexington, Virginia, to this TA. Got our cat scale ticket, and uh, all the way up here, I did have to slam on my brakes at one point in time. Had a car kind of cut in front of me. Uh, slid, slid stuff forward just a little bit, not too bad, but uh, you know, if you'll remember, whenever we was over there getting loaded, looked at my scales, I was right at 32 and right at 36 well there's my numbers so uh i got out and checked my weights while i was still on the scales because that's the best way to do it don't even move look at everything there have, if you have the app you can do that but uh everything was still perfect on my deal so i'm good to roll so uh yeah i mean i i checked these about uh every month and a half two months anyways but that's the importance of keeping them in check is for whenever you're loading out there you know you ain't got no scales or just whenever you're getting loaded in general when knowing where your weight can be where it can't be so uh all right that's gonna wrap this one up uh y'all want to know more about oakley and what we do think about coming over give me a shout down in the comments email uh, you want to call and talk to me, you know, send me your number. I'll call you or ask for mine. I'll send you my number. So uh, I'm fixing to start doing my uh, deals, my uh, series on uh, wanting to be an owner-operator, becoming an owner-operator. If y'all is interested in that, give it a, a watch. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to y'all later on.